Hello guys, it is Monday, which means it is time to apologize for not uploading uh, on Sunday, but I started doing my attacks at around 1 a.m. Uh, yesterday or today, I guess, uh, and then I finished up my attacks around like, well, like half past 2 a.m. And at that point, I didn't really want to make a video because I didn't want to like be noisy at that time. Um, so I just decided to go to bed and do it in the morning. So. Uh, this is the morning in question, and I'm here to do my quick run through of my attacks. So for the Nightmare Corridor, this was actually hell on earth uh, for me personally, because my <laughs> my Athali team refused to work. Um, but I'll go through my uh, my teams here, and I'll tell you about what what different sorry what different uh, formations you can do in here. So for the first team here, um, it's the Scarlet team. Now replacements in here is you. It, if you can free up Lucilla, you want to run Lucilla instead of Atheus in here, it's much better. Uh, another thing you can do is you can run Rowan over um, over Eugene. But other than that, this is pretty much the team for the pet. You want to use the Panda at level 18. If you don't have the Panda at level 18, you can use it at level 50. But you're probably better off using the Blade Ridge uh, below Panda level 18. So uh, then for the second team, this is the same team as always, right? It's stable. Uh, nothing to be done here. Just copy exactly what what I do. Sorry, I woke up literally like seven minutes ago. So yeah, we're just speed running this. Um, next up, here's the SEAL team. Now for me, the SEAL team, um, there are a bunch of variations that don't work for me. So I have to go back to an old SEAL team of mine, uh, which is what, what you see here, right? Um, which is the, um, the Leica SEAL team. But ideally, if you can make the, uh, the uh, current um, we'll go through the different teams later on, but this is what worked out for me um, because I couldn't make the um, the Sophia seal, seal team work. Um, so yeah, I had to I had to use the seal team, uh, otherwise it it just would not work for me. Um, next up, here's the uh, Baden round. Now the Baden round is buffed this time, so you can hit some uh, some pretty obnoxious times if you have a good Baden. Uh, obviously, you want to use the SP effect on uh, Solus. Here are the uh, collections, and here's the pet. You can also use the uh, panda. Or not panda. Well, I guess you could use the panda, but um, you can use the uh, dragon pet, or you can use the owl in this team, uh, and they're kind of interchangeable. For me, the dragon pet was like slightly faster, slightly better, but you might need it in the last round, uh, as we'll see. All right, so here's the um, the Athalia team. Now, for me, the Athalia team this time around was the bane of my existence. Um, what ended up working was this formation that I had to make myself, which is like kind of a combination of some different formations. Um, but I'll run through some, some other options for you. Um, the main thing about the other options include that you can use, like you could use Scrake over her, uh, over uh, Naruko. You can use the uh, Lawson setup that I used to use. Um, you can use the Authors plus, um, plus Liberta setup that refused to work, but then randomly worked, but then didn't work again. Um, but I ended up settling on this. Uh, if this doesn't work for you, you can also use Damon over uh, Naruko, uh, and that might work for you. And then for the pet, you can try to use, uh, like if your team doesn't work, you can try to use the uh, souffle, the, uh, the, the cake raining pet. Um, but yeah, for me, I had to use a lot of different formations to try and make this work. Um, and it was not a very fun figuring out how it works, because if you use Liberta in here, um, everything else becomes quite cringe, at least for me. Um, and now for the the last team here, this is what I ended up on. Um, now, a lot of things can be done in here for a very similar time. Um, one thing you can do is you can use Antandra over this guy uh, for a similar time. You can use uh, Naruko over this guy for a similar time. For the pet, you can use the uh, fox in here. You can also use the dragon in here. You can also use the seal in here. Uh, and you can actually even also use the talisman uh, in here. Um, now, this is the formation that I ended up on, right? Um, but ideally, you you use like in here. If you can make the Sophia team uh, work, the Sophia seal team work. So, um, as you can see here, I I had to spend a lot of diamonds because I had to try so many different variations. Um, so, let me just run run you through some of some of the different things that you can do in here. So here is uh, one of the cases where the uh, Liberta team for me, uh, the Liberta team uh, with Athalia did work. Um, but obviously, even if this works, it uses Liberta, right? Which means you can't use Liberta in here. Uh, but then you can obviously use uh, this team, right? You can use uh, some sort of Leica variant in here. But that 
all relies on you being able to make the SEAL team with Sophia work. And for me, the SEAL team with Sophia does not work. Uh, and thus, this was like um, not, a, not an option for me. Another thing you can do if I can find it um, is that you can use the uh, you can use Vika in the last round uh, to some moderate amount of success if you uh, can't use Liberta in there, right? Um, so let me try and find the Vika variations. Uh, here it is, right? So uh, well, I guess I'm using Vika with Liberta, but I suppose Vika is a, another replacement for um, either Crasio or Antandra or Naruku uh, as the uh, fifth person in this team. Um, Here's a, well, I guess here's another, right, uh, another um, Thalia version, which is the Damon version that I spoke of earlier. And then here I had to, I mean, I had to settle on this, this team, right? Um, excuse me. Well, um, I think that's about it, right? Um, I, I'm sure I missed something, but yeah, the TLDR is, these are the teams that work best for me. If you can use the, um, well, I guess the top players are using Thane in the formation, but if we just scroll down a bit, we hit someone like this guy. Probably he's not using Thane, and he's probably... Yeah, if you can make this SEAL team work, it's much better, right? Because then you can use Laika in the last formation, which this guy isn't even, but ideally you use Laika in the last formation. Um, and then that speeds off both, uh, both formations. But I'm pretty sure this is relying on some sort of collection, or perhaps Naruko E60. E, uh, but for me, it, it uh, for sure did not work. Um, so yeah, those are my uh, my teams in Nightmare Corridor. Um, you might have to do a lot of cooking in here, depending on whether or not you can copy the Athalia team to some uh, success. But there are different uh, formations and variations. And one thing that's nice in the Nightmare Corridor is you can just sift through uh, the leaderboard, right? And look at what other people do. So that's uh, mainly what I did this time around, right? Um, but yeah, uh, let's head over to the uh, Cursed Realm. Wow. Now for the Cursed Room, it's, as always, it's an RNG fest. Uh, one funny thing for me is, as you can see here, I did 100 uh, million damage or billion damage. And I actually did this on the very first attack I did at the start of this week. I always do one attack of the Cursed Room. And then every subsequent attack of me trying to make it better, it couldn't hit the RNG. So why was this my best hit? I'll tell you why. It's because of this. Uh, the first team, the Baden team, was able to hit 16 billion, and I have no idea because I can't replicate it, um, even with the similar connection collections and stuff. But yeah, um, this is the uh, Baden team, right? And it's it's super RNG. For me, I hit the RNG once, uh, so this was my best round. Um, as for replacements, I mean, if you have like Matri and stuff, you can put her in uh, over... Um, over... Uh, Mihira, um, but yeah, most people don't have that, and I believe this uh, pet works at level 15, and usually below 15, you want to use the, um, what is he called, the fat, the fat fire, fire breather maybe is what he's called, below level 15, but obviously you want to use uh, this booter if you, you can, and as you can see, I didn't even run a collection of this, so perhaps that had some influence of the RNG, but probably not, it's just high RNG. Next up, this is the uh, this is the seal team now for the seal team there are many variations uh this is one variation right i'm using the um i'm using brutus at at mythic right um and here are the uh, collections and i'm using raku now uh the best seal variations actually not this one for me anyways this one was able to hit much higher it was able to hit like around uh, 11 billion damage and it's using um it's using Nevanthi over Raku. Um, now, another thing, if you have a Matria, you can use her in here. If you have a Brutus built out to any a certain extent, you can use him in here. But it's the Brutus team, right? So you can use uh, Dimensionals in here uh, and it'll do uh, just fine, right? I even believe I should probably have like some sort of Dimensional variation if I look in here. Well, that was, a, I mean, this was a Queen variant. I tried, but yeah, it's also using Brutus. Um, but yeah, Brutus works at lower investment. Um, it's just his SP effect is really nice. Ignore that one. All right. So for the next team, this is the uh, Belinda team. There's a few variations of the Belinda team. For me, I'm using Kines and Rook. If you don't have Kines and Rook, you can put Naruko in the front line. And then you can slot in Skarath 
uh, over Naruku, and that works out fine. Um, other things you can do here is you can run um, Lava Tune over Naruku, uh, or obviously run Naruku over uh, this guy for a good time. But for me, I'm using Lava Tune in the final team, so I'm not doing that. Um, but yeah, the main thing is uh, if you don't have Kinesis and Rook, uh, put Naruku in the front line and then put Scrath here, and it's just about the similar team. Um, but it's an RNG dependent team and it can hit high and it can hit low. Uh, for me, wasn't really able to hit that high with the Belinda team for this round. Uh, and here are the uh, collections. Next up, so here is um, here is the team that you want to use if you don't if you don't have a awakened version or I don't know the draconic version of Gwen. I suppose um, I'm using. Um, Trashier in here, um, but this team is worse than the Draconic versus of Gwyn. So if you pop her tri trial, one thing you can do is you can use her. So I believe I used her here, right? And as you can see here, this is a 20 billion damage team um, using Draconic version of Gwyn. Um, and obviously you want to run the SP effect on Sophia. Uh, the next team, if we head back into the teams, is this team. Now, um, because I don't have Lucius, I should have mentioned that if you have Lucius, you want to run Lucius in here and then you swap the seal into the, the fifth team. Uh, so for those of you who have Lucius, uh, go look at the leaderboard and, and see what they do with Lucius in here. Uh, and then for this team, if you use Lucius in here and freed up seal, then you want to use the seal in here. But for me, obviously, I don't have Lucius and I couldn't merc Lucius because I have to look merc Baden. So I'm running um, a... Um, well, just a uh, red team in here, right? With the uh, with the uh, winged line, uh, and yeah, this is the setup, and it's I mean it's actually somewhat RNG, right? Sometimes this team completely flops, but uh, most of the time it does like nine to ten billion damage, which is nice. Now for the last team here, here there are a lot of uh, excuse me, I just woke up, so I guess my body is processing, not sleeping a lot. Um, but yeah, here is the um. The team that I used, but there are many, many variations of this team. One thing that you can do it here, if you don't have awakened version of Laika, you can slot it Lady Simona in here uh, over Laika. Another thing you can do is you can actually slot out Lavatune and use him in here, um, and then have a different variations. And for the pet, you can use many di different variations. But one thing you can use is obviously uh, what I'm using is the. Uh, Ox pet level 18, but you might need that for Lucius. Um, but a better pet in here is actually the Draconis, the new dragon pet. Uh, it's much better or the damage is actually higher. So if we look at some of my more recent attempts, as you can see here, 29 billion. Um, and here I'm using the uh, the uh, the Leica version as well, uh, SP on, on, uh, on, um, on Solus. But if we go a bit back here, I believe we should be able... Here's the, the one, right? Well, I guess here I'm using both Laika and Sophia, or not Sophia, uh, Lady Simona. Um, so this is a way to free up Lava Tune for the Belinda team. Um, but as you can see, Belinda wasn't even really able to do it. But here's a, you know, the Belinda variant I'm, I'm talking of. Obviously, Lava Tune and um, Lava Tune and Ivan are interchangeable in here. So I wanted to try Lava Tune in here. And then I used uh, this team in here. And as you can see, I'm also using uh, the Panda Pet. But the best for me formation was, was this formation with the Draconis Hero. And uh, also, this was my best Seal team. And this was my best uh, uh, Belinda team. Um, but yeah, it's high RG. Obviously, Pop Gwyneth trial. It's running out anyways. Um, but yeah, it really depends on if your Baden hits high. Or at least for me, um, it did. And as you can see, it only uh, decided to do that once. All right, I think I uh, I did a speed run of the of the um, of the teams. So I'm just gonna <laughs> gonna hit bed back to bed for a bit. But I wanted to get this out in like decent time. But I couldn't really record at like close to three a.m. Uh, in the night. So um, here's the video. Uh, I'm sorry if it's scuffed and rough and rushed, but um, that's just how it's gonna be this time around. So I'll see you guys later.